House official in Lebanon blamed Israel's Mossad for the death of a senior operative, who the group said was assassinated in his Damascus apartment. The leader, who spoke anonymously, said that people entered the home of Kamal Ranaja, also known as Nizar Abu Mujhad, and killed him. There was no word about the manner in which Ranaja met his death. The new pan-Arabic television station Al Mayadeen reported that he used to serve as aide to Mohammed Al Mabou, a senior Hamas member who took part in several terror attacks and was also involved in kidnapping and killing IDF soldiers. Mabou was assassinated in Dubai in 2010. A delegation of senior Hamas Politburo officials, including Khalid Mashal and Musa Abu Marzouk, is set to arrive in Jordan to attend Ranaja's funeral. The group was meant to visit Jordan over the weekend or early next week, but its members decided to push up their visit in order to attend the funeral. A Syrian minister is quoted as saying his country's forces may have mistaken the Turkish plane they shot down for an Israeli one. Turkish and Israeli fighter jets were mostly U.S. made, which may have led the Syrian forces to mistake it for an Israeli jet. Syrian news outlets quoted a military expert as saying that the anti-aircraft weapons used to down the Turkish fighter jet last weekend were made in Iran. The Turkish military deployed large forces that include tanks and other armored vehicles to the country's border with Syria. On on Tuesday. The government is allocating 355 million shekels for the improvements to sewerage systems in Arab locales. Energy and Water Resources Minister Uzi Landau announced the allocation, but not before an environmental group warns that without regular budgets, the systems will collapse again. Last winter, the government approved an 800 million shekel plan for economic development in the Arab sector. The plan includes public investments in infrastructures and job training. A UN report said that Israel is one of the world's leading nations in the field of online government services. The report, which surveys 150 nations around the world annually, also gave an especially high mark to the government's online portal, gov.il, lauding it as very well organized. The gov.co.il project is part of the Treasury's accessible government venture, formed following the Knesset's decision to promote open government policies and governmental transparency. The Islamic Republic's media reported Israeli cherries are sold in Iran. The report makes no mention of Iran's trade ties with Israel, which are supposed to be non-existent, nor does it criticize the sale of Israeli produce. Other media reports in Iran quote a rather predictable comment by an Iranian trade ministry official saying that importing Israeli goods of any kind is prohibited. The cherry affair is reminiscent of the 2009 orange scandal, which saw the citrus fruits bearing clear Israeli labels. Oh, oh, oh.